really well, had a heck of a first quarter. Um, and, you know, I think to hold them to 15 in that second quarter and us going to halftime up nine uh, was big. And But then we gave it right back coming out of the gate. So, you know, I'm just proud of the way the guys fought. You know, Jose Calderon, um, pretty special what he did tonight. You know, with Dennis in foul trouble, Dennis has been – you know, such a huge part of the first three games, you know, everything, so much of what we do is through Dennis and for Jose to step in with the foul trouble and do what he did was, uh, you know, we just, we keep telling people how special he is and he's just uh, the character and the, the competitiveness and he'll do anything for his team, um, special. And obviously Dwight, I thought Dwight was great tonight, had a huge game, um, you know, and everybody just contributed up and down the roster. A lot of guys are contributing, playing part of it. Um, but, you know, I think if we can just continue to get better defensively in a couple areas, uh, you know, that'll be our focus going into game five. Jacob Eisenberg, AtlantaHawks.com in the back. Yeah. Coach, when you think of all the things that had to go right for Jose to end up in Atlanta, can you, can you reflect a little bit about the, the search for the backup point guard and what led to Jose coming here? We may need to send a little thank you note to, you know, the Warriors and – Obviously, they were classy. You know, they had an injury come up, and, um, you know, they had to go a different direction. Uh, you know, we feel fortunate that Jose considered us and obviously chose us. But, you know, that was, you know, sports are like that. You have to be fortuitous. You have to be a little bit lucky, whether it's in a game, whether it's picking up a veteran like Jose or different things that happen throughout the course of the year. And, you know, I wouldn't underestimate what Malcolm did for us this year, too. I think, you know, having both Malcolm and Jose – as backup point guards, both can come in and play um, and contribute at a high level, um, you know. But uh, no doubt, um, Jose has kind of infected us with his spirit. It's been great, and um, you know we'll just continue to uh, hopefully build on on what kind of how he plays the game. If you could go back to Jose too, um, he picked up three fouls pretty quickly, and I'm just kind of wondering why the decision to stay with him. And what's your anxiety level when your two point guards both have three fouls in the second quarter? Um, you know, a couple things. One, you know, Jose most nights is probably not going to play enough minutes to foul out. You know, so he gets a third foul. Um, you know, even if he gets a fourth or something, you know, he's he's going to play a five or six minute stretch to give Dennis a break. So, you know, to roll with him and stay with him, um, you know, your backups, you know, generally speaking, probably aren't going to get to six fouls. And they just don't play enough. But, uh, you know, with Dennis with three, you know, maybe it's a little bit risky. But I just thought the way he was playing and the way the team was playing, um, just to kind of kind of roll with that group. Hey, Coach. Uh, Avery Yang uh, with Hawks Hoop. Um, Tabo only played one minute, 24 seconds today, and obviously he hasn't um, played much um, the entire series. Um, is he 100 percent or is that just more tactical than anything else? You know, Tabo's healthy. Um, you know, again, I think we're just, you know, going with a little different group, um, guys that kind of played down the stretch of the season. And, you know, again, Tabo's another guy that we feel fortunate. I think he's, you know, ready. Um, he'll do anything to help us win a game. You know, obviously he can have a huge impact defensively, whether it's one possession or, you know, six minutes or 20 minutes. So, um, but Tabo's healthy. He's ready. We know he can help us. <clears throat> Nubias Woolborn, Sporty News. Um, you're up 97-94. Millsap comes. He hits this shot, going out of bounds, falling out. Um, how does that short spot, shot kind of spur you on? And then even though he struggled, you seem to still be able to find ways to contribute. Uh, yeah, the one where he got the offensive rebound and kind of got, you know, was able to get it back in and get the, the foul. Yeah, I mean, that's a big play. That's kind of, you know, there's winning plays that happen in a game, you know, diving on the floor for a loose ball, going after a, an offensive rebound. And, um, you know, in the playoffs, you just got to want it. And, um, you know, that's one of those 50-50 balls Paul got. And then, you know, how he got it in the basket, uh, you know, it's just, you know, credit to Paul. You need plays like that down the stretch. Coach Jonathan Simmons, Real Talk Sports, WIGO 1570. How important was it to have Dwight play such a big role in tonight's game? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, obviously it was his best game. It was, you know, I think we needed that extra boost. Um, and, and he certainly brought it, you know, uh, him, him and Bayes kind of got on a little connection there for a few minutes. And, you know, it really lifts our group up. Uh, but I thought the defense, you know, and his activity on the boards and, his second and third efforts going to offensive rebounds, all those things, uh, you know, that's that's just um, we need more of that every night, every possession. Uh, when he's like that, 
you know, I think it can just really help carry his teammates and, uh, you know, hopefully help us take, you know, that next step forward. Just 12 turnovers again. And I know we talked yesterday about that function of the, the pace. Uh, did you find that the case tonight? Yeah, it, you know, we'll go back and watch the tape. I thought there were some some good examples where we played with pace, but I thought overall and generally speaking, it didn't feel like, uh, you know, we were playing with the same pace we played in game three. And, you know, I'm sure Washington did something to, you know, affect us. But, um, you know, I still, you know, it's at times it's going to grind to a half-court game and we got to take care of the ball, uh, be decisive, make good decisions. And, um, you know, e even despite maybe not the same pace that we would like or that we had the other night, um, taking care of the ball is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge thing for us. Coach Damian Lewis with Old School 87.7 here in the back. Oh, yeah. uh, earlier in the uh, game when uh, Markeith picked up that second foul, him and Paul seemed to get a little physical there. Was there any concern for you where you felt like you were going to kind of have to keep an eye on that situation? No. You know, Paul is, you know, he's, he's so mature. I mean, I think he's more calm than I am. He's, sometimes we have to check his, you know, his pulse. Um, so I think, you know, he's, he's very, very competitive, but he's very focused. He'll do anything that it takes. Um, I think, you know, he brings a physicality to the game. They both do. And so I think Paul's in a good place. Paul's just going to keep playing basketball like he's done his whole life, and he won't back down from anybody or anything. Uh, Coach Bud, Terrell Thomas, Hip Hop's 1987. This was the first game of the series in which John Wall did not eclipse 30 points. Uh, what did you guys, what was the strategy in tonight's game to keep him down to have a low margin? We let Bill go for 30 points. So, I mean, it just, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, Beal got going tonight. They went to Beal a lot. Uh, you know, he was extremely aggressive. The ball was his, in his hands a lot. And so, you know, I think the goal is one night to hold them both, you know, um, under 30 and keep them both under control. And, um, you know, Wall is a, you know, he's a gifted player. And, you know, tonight it felt like he was playing more of a setup game for Beal. Um, but, you know, at the same time, hopefully we're doing a good job of keeping them off the free throw line. We're showing our hands. Um, you know, we're big at the paint and uh, just making everything that Wall does get difficult. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.